Hello, this is not a spring chick bikinis are, and yes, as you know, every holiday that comes up, especially every national holiday, I do bring out my flag suits, but this one was purchased because it's a little bit different than the other one because even though it has a flag on it, it's not quite so obvious as my other swimsuit that really obviously had a flag on it, but at the same time, you still have colors. See, as you can see, the, the blue's not quite as flaggy, shall I say flaggy blue? Um, so part of it is, is because it's not so obviously a flag, even though there's, um, how shall we say, there's, there's still stars, right? And you're still wearing the same colors. Because of the coloration, how it goes, you can wear this all year long. And that just for, yes, national holidays. Or time for you to bring in out a patriotic flag. And here's the other cool part. These right here, this happens to be a swimsuit by OP which I happen to love because it's a junior cut. And really important, um, another side note, is that because of the back side, it's legal all over beaches. I know, and that's the problem. The suit, the previously seen suit, is not mm -hmm. legal. Mm -hmm. you actually, I would mean, point out, you cannot even buy that suit on at a beach store because of the back side of it. Mm -hmm. And we can buy suits with smaller back sides, but you can't buy that flag suit with a back side like that. Yeah. And here's the great part about OP because they build them as separates. So for example, like I can get this one year and pick this up another year. So the, the reds are going to be the same consistently. The whites are typically the same or the blues are the same. Because you know, sometimes when you buy things, um, if it's one manufacturer and they go from season to season, the coloration tends to be a little bit different. Um, so part of it, it doesn't mean that they lack variety. It means that they are planning on you buying it. It almost sounds like an investment for you to use from year to year to season to season and really to change it up a lot. Yeah, and that, that, like we explained to people, what the difference between OP and a lot of the other companies is is they tend to keep the bottoms consistent in the size areas mm -hmm. because some people have a small that's actually a size two. Right. Well, this is, I think this is an extra small. This is an extra small yeah. um, and it's a junior cut. So here's a great part is, because if I've got a string bikini from OP, I can buy it year to year, month to month, or you know, whenever. It's like, it's consistent. And I know the sizing, I know this fits me well. So very easily, it's like I can just pick it up. I always do try it on anyway. But easily I can pick it up, it's a string bikini from OP, and I have an idea of how exactly it's going to fit. Well, it's something too, that, uh, because we, we know the consistency, I can go pick out suits for her that are, you know, in the right size from OP and then hand them to her, and we've never had an inconsistent pickup mm -hmm. by anybody, you know, it's just the way it is. If you know that they got ex the extra smalls are going to be extra small consistently, the tops are going to be the same size consistently, it's probably why the company does more business than the other companies is consistency. Well, and the other part is it is priced for mass consumption. These are not extremely expensive swimsuits. Um, the, the price point is you know, very competitive on, you know, on the lower end, which is that? Yeah, I would say it's probably on the lower end. Yeah, because this um, is from Walmart, folks. Mm -hmm. Totally. It is a Walmart company, uh, actually. And I don't know if you can buy it somewhere else. I think, is it only at Walmart now? I've only seen it at Walmart. Yeah. But here comes the big, big thing, though, that we're not going to be certain about. You know, this isn't our fashion statement. The problem is, is Walmart is no longer featuring uh, exterior brands now. Oh, they're keeping their own brand. So if they okay. don't have OP, we're going to have to try to figure out we'll where we can find out what's going on. Because, for example, if you buy it in other stores, let's say you buy it at Macy's or Bloomingdale's, they'll stick with um, different companies, right? And it changes. They'll have a lot, a lot more designer brands. But I have not found the same consistency. Well, actually, here's part of it. Um, and, the, and actually, the same thing goes to um, Target. Yeah. Is if you go from brand to brand, okay, well, let's just say, for example, if you found, I'm just going to say XYZ at Macy's or Bloomingdale's, they don't have, I have not discovered enough of um, variety <coughs> in the line to go from year to year and enough consistency to go from year to year for the bikinis from suits. Because, you know, they don't all make string bikinis, they'll make a string bikini, they'll make boy shorts, they'll do halter tops, they'll do... Right? So the part I like about this is consistently string bikinis, I can find them, the sizing is consistent, and I can mix and match. Also, if you go to say like Target, Target has their own brand, right? 
But I don't find the consistency in Target amongst their own brand. There, we know that, that uh, we almost always have to, okay, they're, they're definitely, you got to try theirs on because a small may be, like, once again, a two, it could be a four. Look, you know, I haven't been able to find a consistent extra small. No, because yeah. they're, and they're not got to do with the little girls all grabbing them to begin with. You just can't find them at Target. Well, and there, I mean, here's the other part is, for example, like the OP, which I liked, was you have the bottoms and all the bottoms are the same, right? And you can mix and match them from year to year. From um, Target's, they may have their own brand. First of all, the cuts are not all the same, but the colorations are not the same, where you can do a lot of mixing and matching from style to style. They might have like two tops and two bottoms, but they're not intended to do what you can do with an OP line. The other line that you can do it from, and actually it's not really expensive, was Old Navy. Yeah. Because Old Navy did have it have enough in the styling. Yeah. That once we, and part of it is when we found it, we found a good price to sell. I did buy four complete swimsuits. Well, I thought what the, I, I think what we mounted that each swimsuit could be made into sixteen different. Yeah. There were 16 different, four swimsuits because, and 16 different. Because they'd have patterns or colors that were complementary and it would include the other ones so we yeah. can mix and match them. That was a good deal, but we haven't seen that. There's not a consistency in their suits there either, though. That was uh, in one area all off by themselves, and the suits that were by them in another area, the swimsuits, had no consistency yeah, to sign again. Yeah, we haven't been able to find that same one. So, I mean, part of it is that's, that's one of the reasons why I love the OP brand. Yeah, well, actually, we can... We'll, we'll do something real quick, which people aren't going to get, you know, normal seat. Okay, people, this is an extra small swimsuit, folks. Mm -hmm. So we're going to show people something real quick on camera. Okay, I'll get over here. Okay, um, like I, look, I am five ten, folks. You mm -hmm. can see me. I'm two hundred plus pounds, and um, she is. You'd think that. You know, I am a big person. I am really, I get back to the camera, I am a big person. She is a big lady, but try putting her into a bigger swimsuit. I know, shirt. now I'm sitting there looking at her going, you're 220 pounds and you're standing behind me. Of course you was. How far were you behind me? Uh, that's the, uh, that's the problem. This is a 3D camera, so it basically screws with your definition. I'm, I'm behind her enough. If I'm hiding behind her, you couldn't see me. But uh, You can see I'm 220 and about 5'10 because I shrank. And she is not a small, delicate person. But if you put her in a in a in a swimsuit for her size, the suit's too god awful big. Mm -hmm. I mean, would you want her? Okay, this is what a women basically. A lot of women complain because we just came back from magic. A lot of women complain that they can't wear the clothes. The sizing is all wrong. Mm -hmm. Because you know, you know, extra small. This is what a person her size should be wearing. This this size swimsuit. And instead, they'll, they'll uh, well, you know, you shouldn't be wearing a suit that small. You should be wearing like a medium. It doesn't fit you. Turn around in medium bottoms. Uh -huh. That's the trick. I mean, just, we were showing you a fashion trick. Why? S women, basically, they're, they're getting screwed at the market on the clothes sizes. Well, actually, I had just seen an article where they were sitting there talking about it, and they said a, a female size, let's see, depending on the brand, would go from like a size 2 to like a size eight, t 10 or 12. I'm like, yeah. that seems like a pretty broad range. They're trying to they, make the women feel good, but the women go, we, we, we're, we're going to do a small piece of it, but um, um, 